here you can also rearrange your charts. You can also resize the height and width of your charts. Each dashboard is fully customizable. Great. Now let's go and navigate to our XGBoost training pipeline. And here I'm just using the command center to jump to it. And each dashboard can use those recommended charts or you can create a custom one create a with different chart types, many different chart types. And you can also render your custom chart. You can also choose from many different data sources. Before we start, we're going to add a block to this pipeline that outputs the data that we want to display in our charts. Let's call it dashboard data source. And in here, we'll pass down the data, the model from the training block, and we'll pass down the data that was used. Yeah. We'll take the data from the hyperparameter tuning step. All right, let's go ahead and add some custom charts. Before we begin though, let's look at some of the previous runs just to make sure. Okay, that has, that looks good. And that's the data that was returned. Preview of the model, the dict vectorizer. Let's also take a look here as well. Make sure this ran well. Okay, looks good. You can see it created a couple of those blocks in parallel to train concurrently. It trained three models concurrently. Great, now that they all check out, let's go ahead and add some charts to our XGBoost dashboard and we'll create some custom charts. Let's show some SHAP values for explainability. And you can read more about SHAP values uh, on our blog. So we'll choose custom type, uh, chart type. We'll also use our own custom code as a data source. Oh, missing some inputs. Oh, real life debugging, real time debugging. We actually have to choose the block data output. We want to get the data from that block, but use our code to render the chart. Uh, I think I'm using the wrong block. Oops, so let's reset this. Okay, let's choose custom, and then we'll choose block data output from the XG Boost training pipeline and the uh, data, the dashboard data source, I believe. Oh, I think I'm choosing the wrong block. Okay, let's do that again. Custom and 
block data output, XGBoost training, uh, they're the dashboard data source. Yep, that's correct. Now this should work. Okay, that's the SHAP values for the top features. Let's create another one and show the bar charts for the same SHAP values. We'll do custom again, have block data output as a source, dashboard data source. We'll paste in some code, same exact code, except we're gonna change the plot type to bar. Okay, let's try that one more time. Block data output, yep. <clears throat> let's do XJBoost training. It's complaining about the function running and the inputs are wrong. And looks good. Great, now it's charting the chat values just now in a bar format. Now these, these images are huge, so let's rearrange our blocks so they're side by side. And for our final chart, let's show the chat values as a force plot. Chart type custom, block data output, extraverse training, dashboard data source, spacing uh, the code with slight changes. And there it is, it's all scrunched up, but it'll look a little better if we go back to the dashboard. There you go.